615 and it is on your side going beyond the list all week and here's a big ranking for our city Tampa takes the number one spot when it comes to female entrepreneurs and it's no accident women will be the first to tell you this is a town that embraces startup businesses and I'll show you how there's one thing a number of hugely successful women have in common Tampa a city willing to catapult women entrepreneurs to new heights the local news here put me on. We started in my grandmother's garage. From Spanx at Sarah Blakely to Carly Ocha's bourbon and bow ties, Tampa startups go national and global. It's the number one city for female entrepreneurs. Believe it or not, this quick little three-in-one device has essential oil infused acupressure. I can stop 80% of people from throwing up in about 30 seconds. Next in line, Jacqueline Darna. I introduced you to her three years ago when she won Tampa Chamber's Top Entrepreneur Award for her No Mo Nausea product line. Now in 15,000 stores around the world, including Walmart, Target, and CVS. So all of this in about three years' time, and you credit it a lot to a city that embraces women like yourself. 100%. I always say I'm proud of being ta from Tampa. She's been offered big bucks to relocate. And I actually said no because I was afraid that I wouldn't have that connectivity. Tampa's amazing because the ecosystem is truly inspiring for innovation and entrepreneurship. All of this with no formal training. Coming from a person in the medical realm who's never had a business class, a marketing class, or anything like that, I was able to grow and successfully build a multi-million dollar grossing business here in Tampa, and I'm staying here. Even Tampa's mayor is by Jackie's side. And he always tells me, kiddo, I'm so proud of you. We're keeping our best and brightest here. Tampa takes top spot for top businesswomen nationwide. Now, business.org ranked Tampa as the top spot for female entrepreneurs using data from the U.S. Census and the National Association of Women Business Owners. And it has been a privilege for me to interview these women. I remember when I got an email about Sarah Blakely. It said, yeah. hey, my friend's got this new product. It's called Spanx. What do you think? And I'm like, hey, I'll interview her. Fifteen years later, she's a multi-billion dollar yeah. success. And everybody knows Spanx. Yeah, and it's, look at all these women that have wow. followed suit. That's amazing. And good of uh, our leadership here to promote that 618 now